In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a little bit of an underrated concept from Trips Tight In and something that I don't see a lot of people using at this point of the season, but something that I think is honestly really, really effective, especially the way the Trips Tight In is aligned, oftentimes with the trip set to the wide side of the field and the tight end halfback side to the short side of the field. So let's jump into the video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. My video or my channel is all about helping you kind of just get better at the game, giving you schemes on offense and defense that you can utilize um, to kind of just basically become a better player. So if you want to get better at the game, uh, we post videos every day. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And what I've got is I've got a Mabel coverage set up for you. Um, I've got the flats on 30, the curl flats are on, I think, 10. And then the hook curls are on uh, 10 as well, which is very common uh, way people are playing defense here at the end of Madden 20, uh, Madden 21. And I honestly think this is how people are going to be playing defense at the beginning of Madden 22, because from what I've seen, uh, at least at this point in the season, the two-man rush in Madden 22 from the beta is looking really, really good. So I think you're going to get a lot of that. You're going to have to have answers for man and zone. You're going to have to have flood concepts. And so we're going to talk about this. Now, you can do this from two plays. I'm actually going to put both of these plays in my audibles just so I can show them to you on the field. Um, but this we're in the New England Patriots playbook, by the way. I think New England's going to be the best playbook next year. So um, that's what we're using, New England trip tight end. If you want to get the uh, New England guide, it's down in the description. I broke down every single formation, including U-trips and bunch and trips tight end and all of the stuff in there. So that's available below. But the... Um, the two plays we're going to talk about is curl flat and halfback angle. And really it's going to center around this idea of halfback angle route. Um, if you have hot route master, you don't really have to have um, technically a halfback angle route because you can create one on every play. And we'll show that in this video as well. And so I'm going to grab one more play um, just because I want to be able to show you how to do this concept uh, when you can, when you, when you also can um, kind of create it. I'm just going to grab like PA slot corner. I think that's a good one. So we'll just go with that. That's fine. Um, so anyways, I'm going to come out in the play halfback angle, though, and just kind of start there. And then we're going to build off of this concept. I think this is really, really going to help you uh, at least kind of force your opponent to have to worry about the running back side of the field just as much as he's going to have to worry about the trips. Uh, so anyways, let's just jump in. So there's a couple of different ways that we can run this play. Uh, I'm going to show you the first uh, first way. This is, again, building around this, this idea of a halfback angle route. So the first one is really, really fun. It's a really good way to be able to beat um, the meta, just the meta coverage. And it's really a nice little quick, it's like a quick hitting play. It's really, really fast um, in terms of how it's going to work. So all we're going to do is we're going to curl uh, or we're going to smoke screen the square receiver. And then we're going to put both of the other two receivers on hitches just like this. And then what I like to do is with the tight end is I actually like to re-put him on an out route, like a five-yard out route. Or if you have hot route master, you could put him on a corner. Um, so as you see here, this is the concept. This concept right here is so good against um, zone, zone and really, really good against zone pressure. So basically the left side beats man or the left side beats zone and the right side beats man as you can see right there. Now what this is going to do is let's say for example um, what this is going to get your opponent to have to do is your opponent is going to have to begin to worry about the left side of the field. So his user is honestly going to have to start kind of creeping to the left side and I'll show that with this example and the, another way you could do this is an out route, a hitch and a curl. The one reason I don't like this as much is because of the just kind of where the back gets, which we're going to go over that in a minute. But um, you can also do it this way if you want to. It's a very quick read. Um, but basically, you'll see here if I run against this, um, it co covers up because the opening for the the play against this coverage, the meta, the meta uh, Mabel coverage that everyone is running. Um, is this right here. So here's your opening as a as a user. Your user most of the time is going to want to sit over there to kind of keep that open area of the field taken away. The problem is whenever you run this setup right here, you're going to see that that, that yellow zone, it, you see I, I've got that nice little easy window right there to be able to hit the curl. So, but as you saw with the timing, um, it doesn't necessarily like, it doesn't necessarily time up right. So that's why I like to use you know, two hitches or something to be able to, to attack. But the other thing I want to show you is this right here. So if their user kind of starts over in that area of the field, then this little out route or corner route is going to do a really, really good job at basically just getting the zones out of the way. And you're throwing that ball to the back quick. 
and that's a really hard route to stop. And so we can kind of build on this concept and create a really nice little short side read that I think is really, really good that's gonna also work in combination uh, with the left side. So the way that I would do this um, is if their user is gonna be over here, this is a really easy way to take advantage of their user. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, essentially use a curl flat concept. So I'm gonna put the tight end or the X on a flat route. Uh, I'm then going to take the circle receiver, and again, you can do either one if you want to, uh, or uh, I'm gonna put him on a hitch. I'm gonna put the square receiver on an out, and then I'm gonna put the triangle receiver on a curl. And I love this concept. The reason why is because I can snap this curl route um, at a very spe uh, specific point, um, which is gonna make it really good against yellows and purples. So right kind of before, right there is where I wanna snap him. And if you look, that flat's gonna pull that 10 yard curl flat zone out, which typically a 10 yard curl flat is the best zone in the game for defending curl routes. It's honestly the, it's really the only zone in the game that will work against a curl route. Um, there's no other zone in the game, whether it's dropped or not dropped, that's gonna stop it, uh, which is really, which is really, really cool. So now what we can do is you see, we can create essentially a quick read to the left for the pressure, like if they blitz me, and then on the right side, this is kind of my check down basically. So um, if they send heavy pressure right off the rip, or if they're just playing in a backed off cover three, I can hit this little quick out to the square receiver, like basically immediately. But then let's say, for example, you're facing someone and they are um, running some man-to-man -man pressure. Whenever someone runs man-to-man -man pressure, their user has to come down here for just a split second. So uh, what this is gonna now allow us to do is and also when people run this kind of pressure they typically shade their coverage up so now what we're going to be able to do is you're going to see that we got this curl route to the outside of the field snap them kind of right there pressure comes and i can hit the curl really really quick um, typically their user is going to jump to that halfback angle route as he probably should um, if he doesn't jump to the halfback angle route so let's show you that um, there are times where users uh, especially in this year's game what they'll basically do is this right here and then they are definitely going to like basically vacate the middle of the field and they're going to user rush you right at the gap it's one of the faster blitzes in the game well the cool part about this is if you get that look um, it's really easy to beat it you're just throwing this out quick and you're getting that easy yardage that the angle route can provide you. Now, we can also, like I said, do this out of multiple other plays. So we could do this out of um, the play curl flat. The one thing I don't like as much, uh, there's curl flat is better if they are dropping a lot more people back in coverage, but it's worse if they're blitzing you because if they blitz you, that angle route will sit there and, and basically never run his route. But um, because he's because he's basically blocking for the blitz. But if they don't blitz you and they're in a lot of zone coverage and you get a look like this, this creates the t really good timing. He'll sit and then he'll release out and look, it gets kind of in a different little spot. But as you can see, it's a really good angle route. Now, the other reason why I really like this is let's say, for example, the defense decides that they want to stop your curl routes on the right side. So what they're going to do is they're going to use your kind of back in here, and then they're going to essentially um, put a vertical hook on that side of the field. Well, if they put a vertical hook on that side of the field, what I like about this is you're going to see it right here. This angle route will basically kind of attract the attention of the vertical hook. So you'll see the vertical hook will get sucked in, and then it allows me this pocket to be able to throw the curl route to the triangle receiver. So that's kind of why I really like it. It still beats the pressure really, really well. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to cover with you guys just really quickly is how you can use this concept um, with Hot Route Master. So um, you see here that I have a Hot Route Master quarterback. If I have a Hot Route Master quarterback, you can see when I have a hot route, I can put my running back on a Texas route. That's basically the angle route. Um, it's honestly a little bit different. Uh, if you look at that and then you compare that to um, that route, you see they just kind of, they're basically the same thing, but they're essentially an angle route. Um, the hot routed one is a little sharper um, in my opinion. But what you can do then is you can pair this with other concepts. So for example, um, if you wanted to run PA slot corner, uh, could be a good example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a flood concept to the backside of the field, 
and then we're going to have this curl flat. This allows us to use, you know, really the whole field, um, you know, against the defense. So it could look something like this. Now you've got that three-man concept on the right side for that coverage, and then you've got the, the corner rat on the back side. Okay, and there I think I snapped the receiver. You want to snap the receiver. The timing on that is really specific. You really want to try to get that snapped at a very specific point. Um, because if you don't, then what just happened to me could happen to you. You want to snap him kind of right outside the numbers, right in that little pocket, low ball, and you see him, you know, the lurker in mid zone KO activating, but it's still not able to stop that, which I really like that about this play because it allows me to have a very consistent route that I can use to be able to beat man and zone coverage. The angle route they have to use for that route, there's really not, there's only one or two zones that will defend it. Um, and so it's just a really, really good. It's just a really, really good um, play. Uh, the other thing is, let's say for example that they do something like this. So let's say they do. Let's say you get a look like this, right here, shaded up man coverage. Right. This is a popular, popular way people like to play max coverage out of it. Um, the left side is not going to be an option. But what you can do on this right side here, the curl route will get open. But you can also playmaker that running back up. And you see either the hitch or the running back can playmaker, and they sometimes can get over the top of that coverage, uh, which is a really nice little trick um, that you can use. It's very specific to max coverage. Um, the running back normally goes uh, goes out. So let me try that one more time. Um, it's, and like I said, it's it's very specific. So if they did a defense like this, this would be this would kind of be an example of a defense they might use. Um, and let me just clear out that side because I just want to show you this playmaker. Uh, to the running back, really. But basically, when he comes back over the middle of the field, like right there, playmaker him up, and then you can basically just lob it. And if he's fast enough, he'll outrun the guy. And if he's matched up with, like, a linebacker, like if, the, if this is regs, Aaron Jones will freaking torch uh, coverage that way. So, anyways, that's just a way that you can kind of – um, implement the angle route into your offense so that it now is going to open up a lot more opportunity for you to be able to attack um, kind of the curl flats and things like that. So that's that's a little bit of a tutorial on that. And if you're playing regs, use halfback angle. If you're playing mutt, use curl flat or just create it on your own. But this, I think the angle route is super underrated. It was used a lot in the beginning of the year, and then people kind of went away from it. I think it's still really good. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my complete trips tied in offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It talks a lot um, about just different concepts that you can use from crossing routes to corner routes to um, being able to beat the blitz and being able to beat everything the defense can do. You'll have all the tools in your tool belt offensively. So if you want to get access to that, that ebook is down in the description.